Right guys, the uh, pitch has been cut and thinned out, as you can see. There's still a lot of grass on there, um, but I'll be brushing and raking every other day. We're at 10 mil at the moment. Um, and as we go down, the canopy will thin naturally. Still some uh, stalky animal grass in here, which we will get out with more brushing and raking um, and, pu and probably pulling out by hand. Um, wire brushes also can be useful, trying not to disturb the soil around it too much. So the same with the verticutting as well. We haven't really gone into the soil here. But if you have a look here, the rubbish we pulled out. So that brown, brown rubbish there, that's full of, full of brown stuff you don't really want. All that brown stuff ends up thatch and kills wickets over time. So one of the reasons pitch preparation is so good and also end of season uh, renovations are even this year may be vital just to stop that from building. Whether they play cricket or not, that's, that's going to build. Ideally, the more cricket they play, the better it keeps that down. And here on my, on my left, just in shot now, is just the clippings off the, off the wicket. So you see how green they are? So all that rubbish is just in that base. It's over here then. All that rubbish is just in that base. It's not in the clippings, it's in the base of the plant, which is what we want to get into. So what, what stage we're at now is the wicket's been thinned out, cut down. I'm gonna get some water on this now. I'm not going to look to anything to run off. I don't want things running off. I've got a massive slope here, so things tend to run off. So, but, so I'll be watering this. I'll give this a, a light, even water by hand. As a, there's a good amount in the profile already. I'm just evening it out a bit by a bit of hand watering. And then I'll stick the domes on over there. They go on this to shade it. And I'll try and water two to three times today. And with the moisture already being present in, the, in, in there a bit, may get a roller on it tomorrow. We take the, the domes off tomorrow morning. Um, let it sort of air dry a bit the surface. And then once I'm happy, the roller will come on. Uh, the soil's moist but not wet, so yeah, that's where we are now. I'll give you a I'll give you a bit of progress later in the week. Just want to zoom in on that surface. You can see you can see some soil now. It's quite yeah. The thing about that, it's pretty even. That's what we want. If you do everything even with a cricket wicket, you cut it out evenly, you verticut it evenly, you dry it out, you roll it out, do everything quite evenly, you get, you're more likely to get an even, even wicket, as long as there's no major issues under the surface. Um, if you haven't got a verticutter, which a lot of people haven't, which is over here, then yeah, really a lawnman, Sisis lawnman is probably the kind of the minimum really of what you should have. Easier to say, I know, but that's kind of what you should be aiming for. We've got a verti cutting unit there, which we kind of need sometimes because we can be cutting out quite a few wickets in one day and just doing this has taken me, you know, 45 minutes. Obviously I've been filming a little bit as well, so I've added 10 minutes on, but what I did also do is I lifted up over the ends when I verti cut. I verti cut the first time. I just want to leave a bit of grass on them ends. No need to thin them right out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, stay well guys and hope you enjoyed this short video.